Hi, welcome to Unique Minds. In this class, we will look at the most common multiplication tricks of uh, Vedic mathematics. We will cover something called as the base multiplication method, and we'll also see some other uh, techniques. So to start with, um, let's let's start with a question, which is let's do the multiplication of 17 into 18. Normally when we are asked a question like 17 into 18, the logical way of, think, of thinking, and mostly this is, this, is what, this is how most of us will think, is 17 into 18 is written as 17 plus one. So you have 17 into 17 plus 17. 17 into 17 is 289 plus 17, and that results in 306, which is the answer. This is the most common way to solve this kind of a question. Yes, so far so good. However, uh, there's a drawback. The concern with this kind of an approach is if you if you were asked 97 into 98, 97 into 98, then it becomes really difficult because we normally do not remember what is the value of 97 into 97 the square of 97 we do not know it very well okay so or any any other number okay say 93 into 98 or 93 into 106 okay so in such a case we use what we call as a base multiplication method in the uh, vedic mathematics okay base multiplication method in vedic mathematics Now what does it mean is, <clears throat> it says that take a base, then the base has to be a power of 10. Okay, the base has to be a power of 10. So the base has to be 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 like that. And you have to take the base which is closer to these numbers that you are multiplying. So in this particular case, 97 and 98, so the base that we take will be 100 because these numbers are close to 100 10 to the 10 square 10 to the power of 2 okay and now look at 97 97 how far is 97 from 100 it is minus 3 100 minus 3 is 97 similarly how far is 98 from 100 it is minus 2 100 minus 2 is 98 so now look at this very carefully 97 minus 2 is 95 and similarly 98 minus 3 is also 95 so we calculate the lhs of our answer okay is 97 minus 2 or 98 minus 3 either case it is 95 and the lhs becomes 95 for us then comes rhs rhs is nothing but the, multipl the multiplication of these two numbers, which are minus 3 and minus 2. The multiplication of the differences from the base, which minus 3 into minus 2 is how much? It is 6. However, since there are two zeros, since there are two zeros in our base, we have to have two digits in our RHS. Our RHS has to be two digits. So we have 6. So to, in order to make it two digits, we also prefix it with a zero. So our answer will be LHS and RHS together, which is 9506. Okay, this is our answer for 97 into 98. Or the other way of looking at it is also that LHS 95 into the base 100 plus RHS 6. It is 90. 9506 so this is the answer okay understand the method very clearly 97 into 98 we pick the base first the base is 100 and from the from the base 100 we check how how far are these numbers 97 is minus 3 away from it 98 is minus 2 away from it so 97 minus 2 and 98 minus 3 the cross okay it is across, it's not 97 minus 3, it is 97 minus 2 and 98 minus 3. They both give you 95. Always the number will be the same. 
and that 95 will be your LHS and RHS will be the differences multiplied which will be 6 and because you have two zeros in your base your RHS has to be two unit two digits so therefore you prefix it with a zero so 9506 is your answer and another way is nothing but 95 into 100 the base LHS into the base plus RHS, 9506 is your answer. Now using the same method, let's do 17 into 18 and let's do a couple of problems so that you get a clear understanding and a solid understanding of this method. So let's start with the problem 17 into 18. So the base, the numbers that are close to this, the 10 to the, 10 to the power of the digit, 10 to the power of uh, something, will the closest to it, 217 and 18 is actually base 10. Okay, so 100 is too far away from these numbers, 10 is the closest number. So we'll say plus 7 and plus 8 is the difference from the base 10. So therefore, what will we do? 17 plus 8, 17 plus 8, is 25 or 18 plus 7 is 25 so your LHS will be 25 and then your RHS RHS is 7 into 8 56 however since there is only one zero in the base okay you cannot take 56 you can only take 6 and the 5 has to be added to the 5 from the to the units digit from the LHS so it will be 25 56 so the answer is 306 17 into 18 is 306 the other way of looking at it is 25 into 10 which is the base plus 56 250 plus 56 which will be 306 okay so what's more important what is important is your RHS has to be the number of digits in RHS has to be equal to the number of zeros in your base since there is only one zero over here. You can only consider six. The, the 56, the five in the 56 has to be added to the five in the units digit of the LHS. Clear? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's start with another problem like 99 into 98. Okay, so we again have the base as 100. This is minus 1 and this is minus 2. So 99 minus 2, we have 97 or 98 minus 1, we have 97. So 97 is our LHS and minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2. 9702. 9702 is our answer. So 99 to 98 is 9702. Let's do one more problem. Uh, let's say, let's take one number over 100 and let's try now. 97 into 106. Okay. So we have again the base as 100. So this will be plus 6 and this is minus 3. So 97 plus 6 is 103. And 106 minus 3 is also 103. So the LHS is 103. And the RHS is minus 3 into 6. This is our LHS. And the RHS is minus 3 into 6, my eight, minus 18. So it is 103 into the base 100 minus 18, which will be 10282. This is one way of approaching the answer. Or we say minus 3 into 6 minus 18. 100 minus 18 is 82. And 103 minus 1, 10282. 10282. This is another way of approaching the same answer. Okay. Let's do a couple of more problems. This is one of the most popular 
basic mathematics multiplication technique and fairly very useful uh, especially when we have to do complicated multiplications Let's say we want to do 92 into 104. So you will have plus 4 and minus 8. Base is obviously 100. Okay. So 92 plus 4 is 96 or 104 minus 8 is 96. So 96 is your LHS. Minus 32. So 100 minus 32 is 62. 60. 68 sorry 100 minus 32 is 68 okay so you have the answer this will be your lhs and your lhs is minus 8 into 4 minus 32 so in that case you will say it is 95 68 or you will say say for example your lhs is minus 32 okay so 96 into 100 minus 32 which will be 95 68 okay or if you say if you do this mentally 100 minus 32 is 68 that will be on the right side and 96 minus 195 95 68 either ways again okay, you get to the same answer now Let's erase this. Just give me a sec while I erase this. So we can do any calculation largely which is close to the power of 10. Digits are closer to the power of 10. Let's do slightly more uh, like, a, like a larger number let's say 990 into 1004 so in this case what happens the base is 1000 so you have three zeros so this is minus 10 and this is plus 4 okay so 990 plus 4 or 1004 minus 10 both will give you an LHS of 994 and minus 40, that minus 10 into 4, into 4 is minus 40, 1000 minus 40, okay. So it is 994 into 1000 minus 40, okay. That would be 994960, okay. Or you can also think of it like 994 with Sorry, this will be 993960. Okay, yeah. Or you can also think of it like 994 is on the left side. You reduce it by 1, so 993. And 1000 minus 40, it will become 960. So either case, it will be the same answer again. Okay, so this is uh, one of the most uh, popular techniques and uh, in the next uh, video we will see uh, another most popular multiplication technique of Vedic Mathematics. Thank you.